Hello, this is Chris, and this is part one of the tasks tutorial. So, I just got finished setting up here, and you can see I've got the Jeffrey Way generator already in my app.php uh, folder or file, rather, and I actually have carbons, carbon, I mean carbon already in here. Of course, carbon is already uh, pretty much. Um, already in here so save changes to that and we'll go ahead and save this we're gonna save so what I'm gonna go ahead and do first is I'm just gonna go ahead and generate a resource and we'll, then we'll discuss more on resources here so I'm just gonna hit control shift P and type out resource here and choose the first one it'll probably work just type tasks because it's asking task because it's asking for a singular name and I'm, this isn't going to be very difficult. It's just going to have two fields really. The first field is going to be task, so and that's going to be type string. And the next one's going to be a boolean, saying whether it's completed or it's not completed. So we're just going to call it completed, and it's going to be a boolean. So here we have that, and I hit enter, and it creates a ton of stuff. Uh, you know. Jeffrey Wage Generator is probably the most helpful thing that you can use with Laravel. Uh, a lot of people use packages and stuff like that. I mean, they're cool and all, but when it comes down to it, helping you work better and faster with Laravel, it's Jeffrey Wage Generator is probably the best one to use. Okay, so I went ahead and created views for us. You've seen all this all before. Create us a controller. So let's go ahead and handle routes. And it went ahead and created this route for us. But since we're using a resourceful controller, if you look up here, we're just using index create, store, show, edit, update, and destroy. You might be asking, well, where does REST come in? Well, when you do a resource like this, when you use this, it automatically maps all of that. So if I go ahead and hit Control Shift P again and type out routes, and we're just running the Laravel Artisan command routes. Okay, we're going to have to just pull this up, and this is the map. This is your, for lack of better terms, your application map. So you see, we're already running a git uh, command, so here we're just going to home, and it's action is a closure, so it's returning a view. And next, these are all the uh, URIs generated by that, res by that one resource. So this one route resource is class route with a method of resource. This is all the URIs that it's generating. So you see it's got, you know, it's getting tasks. It's getting task create, which is, you know, it's getting the form to create the tasks. It's going to post the task. And that's uh, named as task store and it's task controller and it's a store method. Uh, you're going to get tasks and it's going to get the task by an ID. So the ID is going to be tasks, uh, and it's going to show it, but we're not doing show on here because we really don't need to. Uh, we will do edit though. Uh, so you're going to get edit, which is the edit form. Then you're going to put it, so put or patch. See, it, it allows both. You either put it or patch, use, because they're both the same, but we use put. It makes more sense. But patch, we'll use in the form because it's just... I don't think it even supports put in HTML. I think you have to use patch. Uh, I've never used anything but patch. So, And then, of course, we have delete here. So if you ever get lost in your application, uh, what do we do in real life when we get lost? We use a map. So we use Laravel orders and routes and pull up a map of your application. So now that we have that pretty much explained, um, where all the HT, all the rest stuff is coming from. In the next video, since this one's running about almost five minutes long already, I'm trying to keep these below five minutes. Uh, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into this tasks controller here. Uh, you already see it's got a bunch of boilerplate for us. We'll be changing some of that and added to it. So I'll see you then.